Today's video is going to be a tutorial for this lock. It's a very um, bright green lock with a little hint of orange, which I think is kind of fun. Um, and it's using all the 88 matte palette. Um, you guys requested that I do more looks with this, so this is one. Um, the reason I chose green, because as you can see, kind of two rows of really good, almost three rows basically, of really good green colors in this palette. And a lot of them are pretty pigmented, so I just wanted to uh, do this look using that so you guys can see. And um, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for my re review of this, or if there is a review of it, I'll put a link in the um, underbar. And uh, yeah, so here's the tutorial. Okay, so I've gone ahead and applied Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then the first color I'm going to use is um, this color, which is the kind of like goldy orange color. And I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to put this right on the inner part of my lid. These colors are super, super soft too, so you kind of want to watch because they are like really, really soft and they'll blend out really easily. So it's a good thing if you're um, not used to blending. What I'm going to take is this screen, that one right there, four from the bottom. And this is like a really, actually, pretty good pigmented, like, lime green color. And I'm just going to pack that on the other side of my lid, or the other half. Just kind of blend it in with that goldy color. And I'm also just going to blend this up as well. Okay, so once you have that color on, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, whoops, take this color right here. And just a little shader brush like this. This is a 208 from MAC. And I like using this when I draw in my crease because it works really well for it. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw in um, the crease line. And then just using the other side of that brush, pick up a little bit more color, and then I'm just going to blend that up. And then I'm just going to take like a fluffy brush, like a 217, and just blend it out. I'm going to take that bottom green color, this one right here, and I'm just going to darken that up a little bit. I'm also just going to take a pencil brush and go in a little bit more with that color and just um, make sure everything is really nice and blended. Then using that same pencil brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of that green that I've been using and a little bit of the corner black. Just kind of mix them together and then I'm going to go right in to the crease deeper. And then because I took it up a little bit higher than I, I wanted to, I'm just going to take um, a clean shader brush and just go into one of these colors right here. Depends on your skin tone, but since one of them is actually pretty close to my skin tone, I'm just going to use that and put it right underneath my brow to keep everything nice and matte. And then underneath my eye, I'm just going to take that same pencil brush that still has a little bit of the green on it, and I'm just going to put that right underneath my lashes. Just like that. And then right on the inner corner, I'm actually going to switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to use a little bit of orange. It kind of gives kind of like a unique um, look. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but I think it really gives it like a kick of color. I'm using this color right here. It's kind of an orangey red, but close enough. I'm going to use that. It's like that. I think it's really cool. And then I'm just going to use Feline um, from MAC on my waterline. really nice and dark and then I'm just going to do go ahead and apply a small coat of um, 
eyeliner on the top and mascara and then I'll be back and show you how to finish up the rest of the look. Okay, so once you're done with the eyes, it looks like this. Um, I went ahead and applied some liner and some lashes. And then for cheeks, just some kind of like peachy blush, um, nothing important. And then for lips, um, I really want to tie in that little kick of orange. So I'm using a lipstick called CB96. And it's like an orange color, but it goes on kind of sheer. And it's really, really nice. I uh, actually really like this color. And it's, I call it the orange lollipop loving because it kind of has the same kind of um, effect that lollipop loving does, only it's more orange. It's a really, really nice color. You can also wear it like a little bit more sheer than this if you don't want it to look so orangey kind of bronze. And then on top of that, I'm going to use um, Spring Bean Luster Glass. And it kind of just brings out that little bit of like goldy green um, hint in it. Just like that. I think it's really, really nice and I really like it. And um, yeah, so that was all using the 88 matte palette. And um, since you guys actually requested that I do more videos with this, so I figured I'd do um, a green one since there's a lot of really good greens in this. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.